Please watch the video in high quality. In this video, we will learn how to include maps in Unity different platforms, including web and mobile, for free using Mapbox APIs. Um, so the result will be a, a map appearing on the screen and the user would be able to er interact with the values of the map, including its center, the zoom values, for example and also the style from say satellite choosing or satellite streets and so on. Mapbox offers a free tier for each product which allow you to use the API for free with a limited request per month. I'll put a, a link in the description to the Mapbox pricing. And you could see as we scroll down, we could see the limited or the limitation per path for each user. And for uh, example, for the static images API, we'll see we have uh, up to 50,000 uh, requests per month. And uh, Mapbox, uh, uh, so by default, you will have a, a pay as you go billing account, which will receive a monthly free tier as included in uh, in this table and uh, Mapbox will send you an email notification the first time a free tier is exceeding during a billing period uh, but if you don't exceed that your using as a developer would be uh, for free to start we need to uh, click on get started and if you don't have an account, you can create an account and sign up. Uh, otherwise, we could uh, just log in. And once we log in uh, to your account, you could see the, the, the free tier request available for each type of API. And so uh, uh, we will need to create a token, access token, if you don't have one. So I'll press create token and then give it a name, um, anything you want. I'll just put it Unity test, for example, and then uh, press on uh, create token. And the new token will be created. Later, we will need this token to, uh, you just need to enter your password uh, to confirm uh, the, uh, uh, th that's, uh, th the, to validate the request. And then a new uh, token will be created. And that token uh, will be needed later to, uh, uh, in Unity to make the ABI request work. So in UDT editor, we need to create raw image. So right click UI uh, raw image, and we're just gonna call it map box and I'll just change the uh, the make sure the pivot is 0 0.5 on X and Y and the uh, anchor is in the center I'll change the X and Y to 0 and the width and height to 1000 and if I press F well we could uh, see it over here Okay, next I'll create a script. So under the assets, uh, I'll create a new folder called scripts. And inside this folder, I'll create a C sharp file and we'll call it map box. Once that C sharp file is created, I will uh, drag it into the new uh, game object, which is map box. It's a raw image and click on it to make sure that the script is there and then double click on the script to open it in Visual Studio. Inside the script file, I added a number of lines that I will go through roughly. So the first three lines are the default uh, Unity namespaces that comes with the script when we create it. And then I added three more namespaces that we gonna need. And then I have a number of public variables that will help the user in the Unity editor to set or change the values of the parameters for the map box. Then I'll have a number of 
private variables that help me control and set the map and the, uh, control the um, execution of the methods within the code. And also a, a list of private variables uh, as well, which are kind of replication of the public variables with, uh, with at, the, at the end of them, there's the name last uh, attached to them. And that's just to keep track of when these bubble, public variables are changed by the user. And then I could trigger uh, to call or request another call for the API, uh, Mapbox API, to update the map whenever a user change these public variables. The start method uh, call uh, a, co uh, a core routine, uh, which is a called get map box. In this core routine, we will pass the URL as a string and we pass or embed inside it the public variables, the user that can control, which are parameters for the map, like the zoom, the center longitude and latitude, uh, the bearing, the pitch, uh, the map width, etc., and also the access token. And then uh, uh, we will send a request uh, to to get the map API texture. And uh, if that if the, an error happened, then we will throw or debug that error of that request. And then, but if the request go through, we will uh, get the raw image game object we created in the. Uh, in the uh, Unity editor, we get its texture, assign the texture we got from the request from the uh, uh, Mapbox ABI. We assign it to be the texture of that raw image so that the map could be displayed on the raw image. And then here we will get update the number of variables we have here to keep track. We assign them to the corresponding uh, vari public variables over here so that later when one of them change, we could call this uh, get map box again. So back into the start method, then we'll have a rectangle where we get the, uh, it will hold the information of width and height and other details of from the raw image components. And then we will get the width and height from that uh, component rectangle uh, by rounding it to integers uh, and converting it to integers because map width and height should be in integer as it represent pixels. Then in the update method, uh, uh, we will check if one of these variables that keep track of uh, the, uh, the, the public variables we have over here, if they are no longer uh, equal to the public variable. In other words, if the user has changed them in the editor, then it will add uh, the, the update map uh, variable is true. And what you, we notice when, uh, when, uh, it, when this uh, condition pass, we set it to false to allow the coroutine method to execute. So when the update map variable is true or any of the public variables has changed, then we again get the rectangle uh, from the uh, raw image game object. And then we get the map and uh, width and height again, and we call the core routine. So we could get another or an update or a new request for map uh, box API and update it. And then we set the update map to false. And yeah, that's about it. And so if I save and go back to the editor, in the editor, I will select Mapbox so we could access to the public variable in the script. And uh, the access token we created earlier inside the Mapbox uh, account, we need to paste it here. And then the other uh, variables are already here set by default. In my case, I wanted it to the uh, map to be centered into Sydney, 
so I just put this and put the zoom that I'm happy with but if you would like to have some uh, information on how could you come up with these uh, details that you think it would be suitable I uh, will put a link in the description uh, to the Mapbox ABI docs and um, so if we go to that website over here so you will see that within the docs there is maps and for example in our case we use the static images so I'll just click on that and it will give you the uh, details of about what kind of um, uh, what's the API will look like and the that is in our script would be uh, is the part over here in the URL so we broke it down and pass the variables uh, to it of uh, each parameters for example the, uh, the the style and overlay and there is a description of these uh, parameters over here what they do and what values do they take and some examples over here and what I find handy as well is is going to the playground I'll put the link into the description as well by clicking it so the playground would be handy because you could uh, play with the parameters here or move with the map and you will see the results uh, straight away over here and then you could just once you're satisfied with the parameters value you could just copy the those value to be uh, the default uh, public variables values in your code so for example I wanted to display Sydney so I just kept moving to the area and that rectangle would show you the visible map and then you could uh, 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 change the width and height of that rectangle so if I change the width to 800 the height to 600 for example and then I'll keep zoom in and so it will uh, give you the uh, parameters once you are happy with them so in this case you could just copy the lat long and the zoom level the, uh, and and uh, uh, also the this the style you're happy with which style would be more desirable so in my case I'll just choose map uh, uh, street so then you could either copy the API from here request and it will call that part exactly as it is or if you want the uh, the user to have more control over it uh, similar to the case here so I just copy these uh, variables uh, these parameters and make them the value of the variables for the code the default values over here the zoom the center and uh, yeah the, the the style as well okay so back to uh, the editor so uh, now we based now that we basted the uh, token and the, these public variables we know how did we come up with these variables for so the playground and if I click play and I'll just change the aspect to full HD we'll see the map is over here and I could change the uh, zoom as soon as I change it the map would update because of our code and we could also change the style and uh, to satellite or uh, satellite street or any other value you could play around with these values as well so that's it this is how we could add map using mapbox api in unity for free thank you please like subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this